Hi everybody, um, it's Brianna. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while, but as you can tell by the title, this is about my dread extensions. I made these dread extensions with yarn. Um, I got the yarn from Walmart. I got two big bundles. It was the Red Heart brand, as you see in the picture. Um, they didn't cost me that much. It was two dollars and change. I wanted to do dread extensions. I knew that for the summer, but I had some hair left over, but it wasn't enough. And I didn't have enough money to go get Marty hair. So I decided, how can I do this style and still not spend a lot of money, you know? So I know I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that with yarn. So I was like, let's try it. And how long did it take me? It took me a day. And, well, it took me a little bit of time. I was with my aunts and my cousins who came um, to Miami for a visit so I would start doing my hair then I would stop for a while and start I pretty much did all of my head in one day this I had like just a quarter part of my head that I had left over to do the next day because I was up really really late and I was really tired but I finished that half in maybe an hour and a half and I was done so I pretty much I did all the braids first and then I did the wrapping the wrapping took me a total of three days, four days, and that took me some a while too because like I said with the family and stuff like that, and the wrapping, it's the easiest part, but at the same time it takes a little bit of time because you need to make sure your strings are the right length, you have to cut, wrap, the wrapping, it seems like, like I said, it's easy, it just takes some time. So other than that, I got done Monday night. Today's Friday, Monday night, and it's pretty good, pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's not necessarily a tutorial, but it's just like a step walkthrough of what I did, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now to measure the yarn I was going to use, I used two chairs spaced apart from each other to just wrap around the yarn and it gives me what I want. I did this a few times and then as necessary if I ran out of yarn. This was for the braiding and for the wrapping around. So here I'm just presenting how all my hair is braided except for this last section. I just re-wet the hair with water and then use some Cantu to make it moisturize. I don't moisturize the whole head. I do it in sections so that it um, will actually be effective. I'm just parting out my edges and I use a rat tail comb to make the parts nice and clean. So I use my comb to make the initial parts and then I use my hand to make the individual parts. I use a comb to brush out the small curls again and then start braiding. I use three pieces of yarn and just wrap it around the hair and just begin the braiding process. Now as you can see, I don't know if you can see all that well, but I don't make the braids too tight on the scalp. That's because when you start doing the wrapping, it gets very tight and you don't want it to be tight already because then you could risk pulling your hair out, breakage, etc. and it won't be very comfortable. So I just keep going and then before I get to the end of my hair, I take a piece of string from each side and put it in with the hair so that when I, I start braiding past my hair, I can continue the braid with the string. So that way it's two on each side, the right, left, and middle. I'll give you a closer look later on. I'm just going to do the same side. I'm making sure my edges aren't in the way. They're really, really fragile and they're really short. So I just make sure that they're not in the way. I don't want them to have extra tension. You can use the bobby pins to keep it out of the way. I'm just going to get three pieces of string again and then start braiding. It's pretty much the same exact process. It's just a little closer so you can get a better idea. 
remember don't put it too tight on your scalp because when you start to wrap for the actual red look it gets really tight and you don't want excess tension so here like i said slow down there's three pieces on each side i take one piece from one side so now there's two on the right and one in the middle and three on the left so now you're going to do the same thing to the left side there's three on that side you're going to remove one so now there's two on the right two in the middle with the hair and then two on the left so now it's completely even so when you get past the hair your actual hair you still have enough string left to continue the braid an inch past your hair the reason you do an inch past your hair is so that in case it starts to unravel you won't have the whole thing undone in your hair exposed. So here I'm going to start wrapping. This part is pretty fast. Put a little piece of string and then start wrapping around. I start close to my scalp, which is why you don't do it tight like I explained. And you just wrap around. It's pretty easy, like I said in the beginning. It's just very tedious. You just want to make sure that when you wrap, you're doing it close together. My hair is it's the same color but it's coming off a little orange so i don't want that exposed so make sure you just take your time make sure the wrapping is close together but not on top of each other so that it's cool. and you just wrap one up Now, this is the end of one piece. I'm going to use another string, put it a little bit down, and then wrap around. This will lock in the initial string and the second string I'm using right now. And just keep going. It's pretty much as easy as it looks. Now, you get to the end, you take another piece of string that ran out and just wrap around. Now, because we're getting to the end, I'm just going to see how it's falling, how long it is. I'm going to compare it to the other one. Since it's in the back, I'm going to check the length in the front as well as the back because I don't want it too long because then it'll look awkward. Got to the length I want, I just make a slip knot with the wraparound string. And since it's not long enough to tie it again, I use one of the braid strings and just tie a regular knot. And I don't need to tie it twice because I already made one original knot. So. After you make the knots, you're going to use your scissors to cut off the excess string. Use your lighter to burn the ends to make it extra secure. And then I blow on it as well as twist it around my fingers to make sure it's set. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and that this video was helpful. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Bye!